The parasitic lungworm Angiostrongylus fasorum is spreading all over Europe. Detailed data from the UK shows the parasite has been increasingly identified over the past few years and is now endemic throughout much of the UK. Several symptoms can be signs of a lungworm infection. These include coughing, breathing problems, tiring easily, bleeding disorders, poor appetite, losing weight, vomiting or diarrhea. Some infected dogs, however, show no symptoms at all. If undetected, a lungworm infection can lead to serious diseases and even sudden death. The adult worms live in the main arteries of the lungs and the heart of the infected dog. They can grow to over 20 millimeters in length. Their life cycle begins with the female worms laying eggs that are then carried to the lung capillaries by the bloodstream. The large number of eggs clogs the narrow vessels, potentially leading to inflammation and a thickening of the arterial walls. After hatching, the L1 larvae infiltrate the surrounding pulmonary tissue, causing inflammatory reactions, tissue damage, and in the worst case scenario, pneumonia. In order to continue their development, the larvae then invade the lung alveoli. From here, they are coughed up and swallowed down. They travel through the intestine and are excreted with the feces. Slugs and snails pick them up, becoming intermediate hosts for the lungworm larvae. Within three weeks, they develop into the infectious L3 stage. Dogs then become infected by ingesting such a slug, snail or potentially even just the slime. Once the infectious L3 larvae have reached the dog's intestine, they pass through the lymphatic system and develop into the L4 stage. These now enter the bloodstream and travel to the heart and the main arteries of the lungs where they mature into the L5 stage and finally into adult worms. The life cycle of Angiostrongylus vasorum is concluded and can start all over again. Apart from dogs, foxes are also important hosts for the lungworm spreading it across large areas as they roam the countryside. Generally, symptoms of a lungworm infection are non-specific. There are two options for diagnosis when an infection is suspected. The Behrmann technique is used to check for larvae in the dog's feces and a blood test detects antigens specific to the lungworm. Importantly, active prevention can reduce the risk of a lungworm infection in dogs. If the infection is already established, effective treatment is available. Please ask your vet for more details.